We're in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, we're here for the Visalis uh, National Success Training. It's, uh, it's completely like you're in awe. You know, you, you hatch this idea, you know, this concept, and you know, you get to see it actually start to work. And then you get to see the results of your product. You know, we're in the weight loss business, where you know, our company has a 90 day challenge, and you get to see the results of people's lives being changed. And so it's almost like, uh, like, a, like you won the Super Bowl, I guess. I've never won the Super Bowl, but I'd imagine. It feels like I'm, I'm having my Super Bowl championship right now. Is it nice? Instead of the budget, it's sick. You're gonna never want to hire people. Oh my god, you two? You have two seconds? Yeah. Can I get your picture? No, you go ahead. Oh, oh god, you guys are fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sit a bit, bro. This business is about a will. A will to win. Any business. Entrepreneurship's about having a will in you. A will to win. One, I'm tired. Two, I was on a red eye. Three, my son gave me a cold. Four, my mother's in critical condition. There's a million things that I'm not happy about going on in my uh, physical energy. You know, I got tr stress on me, I got a deal closing, I got a book launch, I got the biggest event of, of you know, my company, I got a mobile company I'm rolling out that's a, a big opportunity for me. You know, you take all that stuff and you say, wow, that, you know, that guy's got a lot of stress or, you know, he's sick or whatever it is. It's about your will. The show must go on and, you, you know, when you have a commitment and you have a goal and you want to win, it's really about a will to win. Ten minutes uh, till I'm on stage. There's about uh, 3,000 people in the room here. Today's a big day. We're, um, we're uh, uh, launching a, a big product with our mobile applications and we're rolling out here. Uh, which is a, a company that I invested in, a, 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 you know, I invested in an entrepreneur called uh, Jay Charles who created a company that basically makes mobile applications uh, for the direct selling industry. So we're rolling that out. Right now everybody's nervous, I'm nervous, everybody's stressed, my staff is freaking out, everybody's pacing around looking, you know, who's doing what, you know, this is where the money gets made. When I was about to go on stage I was a bit unprepared. Um, I had thought through a lot about what I wanted to say. Uh, truth is, is you know, my belief system is is that I'm just simply a me messenger. These aren't my words. So I think that, you know, it's going to come to me if I can just be transparent and be pure and share with people what the truth is. I don't spend a lot of time thinking about my words. I spend a lot of time thinking about what what am I going through or have gone through that that room is going through or will go through, and how can I communicate to them in a way that they'll receive, you know, the necessary ingredients to be successful or to overcome adversity or to be able to you know pick their own selves up from the bootstraps and turn themselves into something better ladies and gentlemen please help welcome ryan blair thank you um you know one of the the things as a ceo of the company and i'll put my uh, ceo hat on uh, i really focus on the strategy of our company um, and our strategy has always been focused on the customer and the distributor and how we can do the best job servicing both customer and distributor. You see it through our products, you see it through our opportunity, you see it in things like our BMW program and uh, in the various innovations that we've created. You know, our, our business model is different than the other business models that are out there. I mean, we do uh, say that we are in the direct selling industry, but we're really not in the direct selling industry. We have a model and a business model that is unlike any of our competitors in the industry. In fact, the other day I was sitting down with a CEO of a, a multi-billion dollar company that is not a competitor of ours, but he's in the industry. And, uh, you know, they're a public company and this is a man that I've admired for quite some time. And, you know, I'm, I'm like the, uh, the young buck, right? I'm 33 years old and I'm sitting down and I'm a little nervous, you know, and it's interesting. I sit down with him. I've read his books, I've studied him, I've seen him speak to 45,000 people, and I get to the table and there's all these, you know, people on his team, and he immediately stops and says, you guys are blowing it up. And he goes, what are you guys doing? And I said, well, you know, we have a philosophy in our, our business, and, and the philosophy is real simple, customers are good for business. I mean, can you believe that? 
It was interesting. When I started this business, I had no idea that, you know, what the real compensation was. And the real compensation was really having people come to me and say, you changed my life that we're just customers. You know, you changed my life because I lost X amount of weight. Or, you know, uh, my husband and I have a renewed sex life or a renewed, uh, you know, marriage because we're both, you know, feeling great about ourselves, have our peak energy. We like the way we look. We have confidence, you know, in ourselves again. And I mean, it's, it's neat. So it, you get to restore people's confidence. You get to restore people's marriages in some cases. You get to, you know, you get to really help people a lot. Oh, come on, give it up one more time, guys, for the last come round on. of Body Bye Bye Champions. Uh, Hulk Hogan guys, came I have from a, question a, a for referral you. of ours, and someone said, oh, you got to talk to Hulk. And one of uh, our chief marketing officer, Blake Mellon, got him on the phone, and he talked to us about what he'd been going through, about his health challenges, about um, you know, him getting himself in the best shape he possibly could, and um, about how, you know, what he went through with this recent divorce, and how he wrote a book, and he's... You know, he's, he's got some, some great wisdom and philosophy about, you know, life and, and uh, its challenges and how to overcome them. And so when I heard that, I said, you know, one, I'm a huge fan of his. I was raised on the guy, right? Uh, and, I, you know, I heard what a stand-up guy he's being. So I said, let me get you out here and, uh, you know, why don't you lead one of our 90-day challenges? So he's leading the Body by Vine 90-day uh, uh, challenge, the next 90-day challenge, and um, uh, he's a lot of fun. Hey! We should, uh, hey, we have to Hey, why don't you start by telling them the truth? Since we're the lo- Hey! Is that, yeah! Is that, is that background noise? What a, no, what You guys, since we're the largest hey, health hey, transformation, hey, hey, hey. I figured- Seriously! Seriously! Rather than running you your guys mouth stay, You guys, there. stay seated. Stay seated, please. You know what? You're out there telling these people that they can become independent. They can't. That they don't need uh, to work who, for people John, like me. We need, I don't need, need that. I don't I don't know what's going on. Like, who, who is this guy? We need, we, can we just walk out? Get let's your listen. hands off. No, what, what's get going? your hands what's off. What's what's get what's your the, hands off. You got what's what? What's up? What's up? You know, Eric? What's up, maniacs? What's going on out there? something, Eric Bischoff. You've ran hundreds of millions of dollar companies. You've been the vice president of Turner Sports. But I need to tell you, brother, you're barking up the wrong tree. You don't mess with my blood brothers, Blake or Ryan. Vaisalus is the real deal, dude. Vaisalus promotes healthy lifestyles, they get people back on their feet. And they when, when I first came to the hotel, I have expectations, but um, I've learned a, a principle in business, and that is that you have to set your expectations, and then you have to be willing to deal with the results if you don't meet them. Um, every once in a while, you get that euphoric feeling of having your expectations exceeded, and that's a wonderful thing. But in business and in life, it's about setting your expectations accurately and correctly. And if you set them correctly, then you'll never be let down. And most of the time, what an entrepreneur does, or what I used to do in the past, I said, oh, I'm going to have 10,000 people there, and you know, I only had 400 or 40 or whatever it is. And when you, when you set your expectations wrong, you're crushed. You know? And, and that's, the, that's the trick, is set your expectations correctly. So I had expectations. You know, we'd played our hardest. We'd done our preparation. We'd done the best work we possibly could. We put our hearts into uh, getting here. Uh, and I can trust my partners and you know, the management team of my, my company. So, I had expectations, and I got to tell you, my expectations were wildly exceeded this this weekend. Uh, you know, so I'm I have that euphoric feeling as a result of it, in the contrast of, you know, knowing that um, I got to go home and deal with a very tough situation in my family right now. Your testament of, you know, overcoming various obstacles and whatnot has just been amazing. So. Yeah, there's, there's two choices: you take the high road, the low road. You know, it's a pretty easy choice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, yeah, it's, it is. This, it is. Is, uh, this is really cool. The, it feels right. The energy feels good, so that's what I'm all about. You know?